This is hydrogen tap. I've brought this experiment outside so that I could make it. There's just too much hydrogen to be produced here to have it inside. Okay, what you're looking at there on the bottom is the temperature. It's 75 out here that's in the water right now. And as you can see, we're starting off pretty hot. I'm going to turn it on and we're going to let this thing run for about 10 minutes to see what happens temperature wise. The amp is uh, 25 amps. I'm going to back this up. I had to put different cable on there since the old cable was not strong enough to deal with 25 amps. Uh, it's hard to read but it's 25. And there's our voltage. And there's our temperature 76 degrees. You can see the hydrogen is just full to the top. We're going to let this run. And the objective, or the, the whole thing with this, is to see how much, how the temperature runs on this. So I'm going to let it run for a while. We're three minutes into the test. Four minutes fifty eight. We're almost five minutes into the test. 
We're showing 78 degrees. We start at 75. And the amps are reading 25 amps, a little over 25, 25 amps. There's no way I could conduct this test in the house. As you can see we're at 79. We, we started at 75 degrees. That was just from the heat outside. We're down to 11 volts. We're six minutes into the test. 25 amps. So we're at 10 volts. I'm letting the battery completely discharge on this. So we can see what the differences are. We're at 80 degrees. It is completely full of hydrogen. We're at eight minutes into the test. We've only gone up five degrees, and we're running at twenty five amps. You can see it is totally full from top to bottom with hydrogen. Temperature is at 81. I had to change the consistency of lye in here. There's only a, there's only a an eighth of a teaspoon in here, very, very little because the temperature is so high, anything over 75 degrees. It would take very, very little lye to make this happen. The problem when you deal with the cell, and that is why this is a twin, remember this is the Aaron cell. You can see pictures of it at hydrogentap.com. This is the Aaron cell is three inches across by six inches long. It's spaced an eighth of an inch apart. It's the twin that's sectioned off two thirds or negative plates. One third is positive.